G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Taurus Judge. This is a standalone five-shot revolver with custom sounds and animations. It's a weapon that exists in real life, sold to the civilian market for purposes of self-defense. So say you're being carjacked by some ne'er-do-well, and you don't want them to steal your car. Simply whip out your Taurus Judge and shoot them and blow their heads off, and then you don't have to worry about them stealing your car anymore. Neat, right? There's a couple of customization options. Let's get into them, and uh, we'll get started. First of all, legendary effects if we want. Instigating would be great on this thing. Also explosive in a way, and this thing is going to be pretty awesome, but we'll leave that one for now, and we'll move on to the next thing, which is a damage slider. You can get yourself a plus zero damage, or all the way to plus 80 damage, which if um, you look closely at the numbers, that's actually hitting for over 100 da extra damage we do that. So that might be some weird scaling with our Gunslinger there, but 286 damage is pretty nice. But in third place, we've got the receiver. So this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because you've got a choice between the two best receivers here. Either the Calibrated Powerful Receiver, which will give you better crit damage when you do use a crit for the cost of less damage as compared to an advanced receiver, which is just higher damage all round. Now, depending on how you want to run this thing, uh, well, both of these have their merits, but I think I'm going to back the one with slightly better damage. We'll go for the advanced receiver, but there's definitely a good argument for grabbing the calibrated powerful. If it wasn't for the fact that this thing didn't have any barrel whatsoever, you'll notice that there's no barrel modification option on here, and the barrel that we've got is completely snub-nosed, tiny little thing. And in the range stat, it's 17 range. I'm gonna have to be at point blank, literally melee range to get this thing firing up to its maximum damage. So uh, perhaps using VATS wouldn't be as useful unless you wanna run up to enemies point blank and then use VATS to utilize the accuracy that you get out of this thing because standing too far back, it'll just be nothing. Maybe you could use criticals just to guarantee those first shots before concentrated fire picks up the slack, but it's not going to be a particularly effective weapon in VATS over a distance farther than kicking distance, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem, probably the biggest flaw that I can foresee of this thing, but we've also got some extra ammo options as well, and funny enough, the 45s and the 44 Magnum rounds do the same damage, despite the 44 Magnum cartridge being a lot bigger, so that's kind of weird. You've also got the 410 shell conversion, which if you look closely on the barrel on this side, it'll actually say Colt 410, or something like that, Cal 410. Sorry, I can, I can barely see it myself, but it'll change it to a little baby shotgun shell, allowing you to fire multiple projectiles at once. Unfortunately, this will lower your damage overall because the spread of the projectiles inherently, and then using that um, split the damage over the projectiles means that you're going to be doing less per shot, which means the enemy's armor will soak it up a little bit more easily. So, potentially not a great option unless you want to throw on the explosive legendary effect to supplement that. But, we're going to keep on the uh, 45s here because there's literally no benefit for using the um, <laughs> the 44 Magnum rounds, which is silly, but what can you do, eh? We will definitely grab a shotgun version of this because I want to see how it works. And if we're feeling frisky, we might actually add the uh, explosive legendary effect as well. We'll see how we go. Oh yeah, the weapon is craftable on the chemistry workbench under utility. It's a vanilla game thing, you'll find it, don't worry. Righto, so here we are in Gunners Plaza today because using a self-defense weapon for an assault roll feels like a bad idea, just not a great plan in general. But here is a Taurus judge in first person aiming down sights. It's got some pretty cool iron sights. I'm gonna try to center into a, something that's sort of far away. See that wall sconce there? I'm hitting the middle of it now with the crosshairs. It looks like the iron sights are off a little bit, which is, um, that's fine because now I can blame all of my bad aim on the mod itself and not the fact that it's my bad aim. Anyways, this is what it looks like in third person. And the second one here that I've made is loaded up with the shotgun shells with a plus 80% damage slider tuned all the way up. So we're going to get a little bit more power out of that thing. Or oh, maybe, in theory at least, but we'll see how we go. Now, normally I'd like to sneak around here and take my first gunners out like that, but unfortunately, this thing's got such little range that that's not really an option. And even from back here, I'm hitting for just so little damage. So, we got a little bit of a problem here. Now, the way we're probably going to have to do this is just let them get to point-blank range and then just try to aim for the hard or something. Maybe if we get a cheap little headshot here and there, we can do a pretty good job at taking them out. But again, we've only got a five-round magazine cylinder. So if we miss any of these shots, the rechambering time, again, is not that good either. 
the back, even from there. I understand that's a Gunner Brigadier, but even from there, I'm doing very little damage with the headshots. We're hitting New Vegas levels of uh, Big Iron chaining headshots here, and we're not getting nearly as much damage as... Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Now, what have we got down here? Turret. How many shots is that going to take to kill? Four shots for a turret. And five if I miss one, but still, you, you get the idea. And this one, a Mark III turret, usually easy prey for literally anything else. We're suffering here for range. I'm not even going to try to shoot this guy, but I'm only really getting that extra 26 or 25% on his headshot from McCready's perk, but it's going to be roughies unless I use a critical here. That seemed to work out pretty well, but again, that was only a lieutenant. That gun has only got a stick, so I guess we'll just back away slowly from her. Eh, let's switch revolvers. And we'll bring out the shotgun one, which doesn't have custom sounds. Neither does the standard one. That's just standard vanilla game sounds. I thought they were different for some reason. Fact, che fact checkers have ratioed me on this post. Okay, that, that feels like it's doing a little bit better. I don't mind that. Yeah, having that damage slid all the way up and using the uh, projectiles, it'll sort of, or the multi projectile thing. Although, not being able to kill a, <laughs> a gunner private in one shot is uh, potentially troublesome. But now is the time to utilize gun fu. So, one for you, one for you, one for you, and the rest can go straight into you, my friend. Crit, good kill, good, great. All right, good start. This fellow is in here. He, okay, I was wondering why that did so much damage. It turns out one of those shots was a sneak critical, which is helpful, but as long as Captain No Scope here doesn't, oh sorry, Commander No Scope here doesn't blow my brains out and take this. Wait, that's not my melee button. Which melee button is F? I don't know. Anyway, it's time for VATS because I'm heavily outgunned here. So we're gonna slow down time and cheat our way to victory. You bet. That's better. Yeah, lacking the extra damage slider on it. My recommendation, personally, if you're using this thing, crank that damage all the way up. If you want to put legendary effects on it, do so, because if you don't, at least if you're playing on very hard difficulty, everything's going to feel like a slog, and that's just not cool, man. Oh, he's running for the grenade launcher. Don't let him get it. Ooh, that was close. Could have picked it up and sent me halfway across the room. But, all right, looks like we're getting on top of this at the moment. Should be only a little baby gunner here. He goes down. And everyone here has got pistols. Have some more. Need to get these crits back anyway. Am I getting damage penalties from back here? Better not be. Also, don't be afraid to reload. There it is. The mysterious stranger wants to show up, but I'm constantly denying him. The rest of these guys shouldn't be too much of a problem, unless I'm shooting at them from a range of longer than that. For some reason, all these guys are carrying pistols, and probably because all the heavily armed dudes are outside. Whilst they're getting slaughtered every other day, when the angels come to Gunners Plaza, they're sitting inside with their pistols, drinking coffee. And on that, we are done with the standard Gunners Plaza. Uh, let's see if it works with classic holstered weapons. It does... Uh, does not. Unless it's hidden there within the holster that I've got that usually fits a 10mm pistol quite well. But I, maybe it's not there. Nope, definitely not there. Alright, so I've put some explosive shells in this thing. Legendary explosive effect and, uh, well... I was expecting a little bit better than that, but again, it's only that extra uh, 15 damage per projectile. And how many are there? Uh, a few, I guess. I'm not sure. But if this is not good enough, I've got another trick up my sleeve. Don't you worry. So we're going to get some quick little headshots here. And the serious stranger looks like he's about to show up again, but I wouldn't count on it. Reload. Cylinder's empty. There, there you go. That's, that's good. Looks like a third person vanilla game reload there. And that's all we get. It's okay damage, but this is not going to 
this is not going to get us over the line anytime soon. I don't think we can win this DPS race unless he continues to throw rocks into the ground just in front of me. Which he may as he might, you know. Oh, I've got some cover here. Problem is, though, this cover is probably going to be super out of range for my gun. Like, way too out of range. Or he's going to drop his anchor on me. That That's fine, I suppose. Uh, maybe we'll uh, use this thing. All right. I don't know if we've got the rounds loaded in this thing yet. No, we didn't, but we might be able to get some good work done with this thing. This thing's given the uh, extra damage treatment as well, so he's going to be doing slightly better. Wow. Hopefully. But having a five-shot revolver with a slow fire rate and a reload, we're not going to see this effect work for quite a while, but we'll see how we go. No. No staggers, please. And even if I am out of range, we might even see its proper effect until later on. But we'll keep grinding. Keep that grind going. Hopefully we don't miss too many shots and reset the effect. Shoot. 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 Kill him. There we go. Good crit. Good crit. Keep it, keep it coming. We might have to get into nerd rage to really see this thing go. Dodge that one. Got a full AP bar. We may as well use it. We're going to be taking roughies until we get to about the third shot. And then we can start shooting. Whenever you're ready, just reload it. Yep, good. Just a bit of a fallout bug there. Don't worry. And now we're seeing some momentum. We might have the job done yet. Maybe get some headshots here. The question is... Can I out DPS him at this stage? It's looking like a solid yes at the moment. As long as we can keep dodging his attacks like some sort of stupid Dark Souls boss, then I think we'll be fine. Come on, mate. There we go. And one swift shot to the head. He goes down and the job is finished. And I think that is about it for the Taurus Judge. Sometimes, well, <laughs> I don't like revolvers in this game. I haven't found a modded revolver that I like so far. They, they always seem to be just too slow, too weak. But then again, I'm always using automatic rifles and sometimes suppressed LMGs. So, you know, it's hard to beat the power on these things. But the appeal just with revolvers in general is just isn't there. And it's sort of carried over to Fallout 76 as well. You could do reasonably well with revolvers in Fallout New Vegas to an extent. Uh, the hunting revolver from that game did alright damage, but I guess it's the same thing too. But uh, not a fan of revolvers, but I, I can appreciate the work that went into this mod. And I do think it's a mod worth looking at. If you are into revolvers, maybe you got this thing in real life. You want to shoot some super mutants with it, then get it. Download it. Link will be in the description if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh, wait, hang on. That's all I've got for today. Go away now.